If you look at what was described by the now former special counsel Robert Mueller in those six hours of testimony on Capitol Hill, these are damning details, really, about how the Donald Trump campaign functioned, what kind of contacts they had with Russia, how many instances of potential obstruction of justice there were. But what also happened today is there were no major revelations, no faux pas, if you will, on behalf of Robert Mueller. And there clearly was a lot of relief in the White House. Uh, seeing that, of course, President Donald Trump was watching this on TV, as were a lot of people, certainly here in Washington, not necessarily across the country. And he was very happy, the president, that is, with how things were developing. There weren't any bombshells, and there wasn't necessarily anything that would lead Democrats further toward a path toward maybe uh, looking at impeachment procedures against the sitting president. It looks unlikely uh, that that might happen, simply because what Donald Donald Trump gave us yesterday on Capitol Hill was pretty much exactly what he had promised us in May already. He said his report was his testimony. He didn't want to go any further than that report. Democrats pretty much forced him uh, to testify in front of these two committees yesterday, and he didn't really reveal all too much that wasn't yet known. Now, Miller said during his testimony that Russia would again try to interfere in the 2020 U.S. elections. Is that a concern for U.S. President Donald Trump? This should really be the biggest headline coming out of uh, these uh, six hours of hearings on Capitol Hill. The fact that the special counsel, who had been examining a past interference by the Russians in the presidential election in 2016, are planning to do exactly the same thing in the year 2020. This from a man who really should know what went on and what might go on in the future. That is a big headline. But because uh, it's been a bit of a drip drip of revelations from the special counsel, this really hasn't registered all that much. There is other headline material that Robert Mueller produced. For example, the fact that he said that he hadn't exonerated the president. The fact that he said that the president could well be indicted once his presidency is over. Yes, those are revelations, but maybe the biggest headline really should be the fact that the special counsel, the former special counsel, says he knows that the Russians are trying to do exactly what they did in 20. It's not the major concern for the president. He, in fact, has said that he would be interested in looking at help from foreign governments in the future. So, really, there hasn't been a big impact on the highest level of government.